Well, big losses in big races is prompting some soul searching among Republicans here at home and all across the country. They underperformed in their fight for control of Congress. Natasha Brown joins us now with the story of who some are blaming for the losses. Natasha. Well, Yuki, the fallout does continue from the GOP after several key losses during the midterm elections, including two right here in Pennsylvania. Some Republican leaders are putting the blame square on former President Donald Trump. Two high-profile races in Pennsylvania have been won by Democrats. John Fetterman is projected to take over the U.S. Senate seat, and Josh Shapiro is projected to be the next governor. While other races around the country and key battleground districts are still up in the air, one thing is clear. Some Republicans are blaming former President Donald Trump for GOP election losses. In a recent interview with the Philadelphia Inquirer, soon-to-be-retired Pennsylvania Senator Pat Toomey is quoted as saying, last night across Across the country was a terrible night for Trump. The more MAGA a candidate was, the more they tended to underperform even in their own states. Trump-backed Republican gubernatorial candidate Doug Mastriano lost by double digits to Democrat Josh Shapiro. Several candidates around the country backed by the former president lost their elections as well. Senator Toomey's harsh criticism comes just as former President Trump hints at an announcement next week, but allies say they're urging him to postpone it until after the Georgia Senate runoff. Toomey, who broke from Trump after he tried to overthrow the 2020 election results, says, quote, I think Donald Trump's influence gradually declines, and I think it accelerates after the debacle that he's responsible for to some degree. Senator Toomey tweeted this after Democrat John Fetterman's projected win. I congratulate John and wish him the best as he takes on the role of representing Pennsylvania in the U.S. Senate. Meantime, ballots are still being counted in razor-thin Senate races in Nevada and Arizona, with President Biden vowing to reach across the aisle to bring both parties together. Regardless of what the final tally in these elections show, and there's still some counting going on, I'm prepared to work with my Republican colleagues. Well, we have reached out to Senator Toomey for comment at his Washington, D.C. office. We have not heard back just yet. Back to you. Natasha, thank you for that. And please be sure to stay with CBS 3 for the latest on election 2022. When we are not on television, we will have the latest on our streaming channel, CBS News Philadelphia, and online, cbsphiladelphia.com.